Hi guys, thanks for finding this channel and watching this video today. This is going to be my first impression video on the newly launched Barry M Matte Me Up Lip Paint Kits. I think it was launched on the 8th of February here in the UK for the introductory price of £6.99, which was pretty cool, I thought. Um, there's only three shades at the moment. I'm only holding up one because I've actually only bought one. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, I think I read that Barry M is going to be um, releasing another five shades, so that would be really cool because these shades are quite bold, there's there's quite a lot of colour involved, so if you wanted more of a nude, a real sort of nude, or any peaches, or corals, or things like that, they're not in the range. Basically, this is the one called Pose, and I would call this a pinky mauve nude. There's one called Go To, which is more of a brown nude, and it is more brown, a darker brown rather than the nude brown, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Then there's one called Runway, which is definitely more darker pink to berry sort of tones. Okay, so I've purchased this kit and I've literally taken off the sticker off the top and I have taken off all the sort of tight cellophane packaging on the actual products because that just takes time. Okay, so basically you have your like lip gloss pot really, isn't it? And then you have your lip pencil obviously so I'm gonna swatch for you I'd be dying to do this and I'm dying to get something on my lips so let's do this Ooh, there can you see that's so you can see the brush or the foamy applicator right let's do it let's do it let's do it it's supposed to be a really light texture wow Ooh, god that's really nice yes yeah, lovely color exactly what I thought actually and what I hoped it would be it's one of those mauvey pinky nudes liking that that went on really well it's really light texture it's supposed to not dry down well it does dry down to a matte finish but it's still sort of not too drying on the lips so <laughs> I really want to dry that out so the lip pencil yeah same shade obviously tiny I'd say a tiny bit lighter in shade, sort of slightly more peach peach to um, brown undertone. So that's really nice, actually. That's sort of a lip pencil I could wear if I was going for a nude look with just some gloss. and just sort of blending that on the lip. Wow. Right, I want to get this on my lips because I put some lip balm on, but I'm desperate to get something on. So let's give it a try. Right, I've got a little mirror. Okay. So I'm going to put the lip liner on first for you I don't want to block out what you can see on the camera so I'm going to do this here and hope that you can see so this goes on I'm planning right I must stop talking whilst I apply this okay I was going to tell you two things then so yeah it goes on really well to be fair it goes on like any other lip liner that I own in fairness I'm just going to take it into the lips a bit more because what I hate when a lip product dries down and starts to wear off and you've used lip liner and you get that lip liner still on there and it just looks a bit silly. I don't like it. So I'm just going to take it into the lip a bit more so when it all does start fading away it's still going to look not too bad. There. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the lip liner. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to nip out, I've got to go down to boots, so I'm going to swatch all three shades on the back of my hand so you can at least see what the shades look like, okay? Um, then I'm going to go to some appointments, I'm going to go and visit my friend, I'm going to go for lunch there. So I'll do little check-ins through the day to see how I'm getting on, alright? Right, so let's apply the lippy. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't want to talk then, because we're having some work done upstairs in our bathroom, and that was the Tyler. He just came down the stairs as I was putting the lipstick on, and then went out the front door, so I was like, don't talk, don't talk because he'll think I'm mad talking to myself in here. He's gone. 
well, it's just gone out the front. That went on really well. I'm liking that. Again, a pause because the flipping Tyler just walked back in the house. So sorry, guys. Anyway, I like that. It does settle into any lines on your lips. I think most people have got lines on their lips, haven't they? So when you smile, I'm just going to put a little bit on while smiling. To sort of fill those lips, fill those lines even, without getting it all over my teeth, obviously. <laughs> there, finished product. I like it, I like the way it went on. Basically, I'm just going to try out its staying power today, see how long it actually lasts. Try not to get it all over your teeth though, guys, all right? That's the Tyler, he put me off, he put me off. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I do really enjoy the colour, really liking that, it's my kind of shade. So I'm going to nip out now and I'll do a check-in when I'm down at Boots with the swatches on my hand, let you know what they all look like and I'll see you again soon. Hey guys, again. so I ah. am down in Boots, well in the car park of Boots, look there's Boots. And i got my swatches, there you go wanted to show you didn't I so the middle one is pose Ooh, I'll bring it back a bit there you go the middle one is pose which is what I'm wearing the one on the top as you're looking is the go-to which is what they call the nude the brownie nude shade it's nice actually it does go on the hand I mean all the textures of these are so nice just one swipe they're so opaque um, and then the berry the darker red um, sort of pinky tone there is the runaway so yeah that's your three shades there I think they're beautiful they work for lots of different skin tones but I'm still liking my one in the middle pose right which is what I'm wearing so first update is literally about 20 minutes later it does settle in the lines I suppose I don't know it's up to you if you like that or not I'm sort of more used to a slightly muted glossier look so this is quite a full-on lippy for me it might not be for other people but it is a little bit for me but i like it i like the color i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna persist throughout the day i have got a lip gloss and if i get desperate i'll just put on the top just <laughs> but i'm sure it'll be fine but basically this is just to see how well it stands up through my day with eating and drinking and how long it lasts and just letting you know so anyway that's the three shades so far I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, right I'm at my first appointment uh, about 20 minutes later and I just wanted to show you those swatches and luckily I brought some wet wipes because I knew I was getting the swatches and I didn't want them on my hand at this appointment. These are just normal Sainsbury's ones actually and they've got extra bit of vitamin E in them but I don't know how I'm going to show you this. I'm going to see if I can balance the camera somewhere. I don't know if I can. Maybe if it'll balance there. No, nope, it's just going to fall over. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right, swatches. Wet wipe. Not budged. A little bit of movement. This is really going for it guys, <laughs> seriously, believe me. Ooh. That's tough, that's staying power. Okay, now my lips don't feel dry or anything. I do feel like it has settled in all the lines, I don't know. I like the colour, I love the texture. Obviously I like its toughness. It's just probably me and just liking a glossier finish rather than the um I'm still going I'm still going you know rather than that matte down look it's it's definitely more matte than what I thought it was going to be but I suppose it's a matte paint pot thing so why wouldn't it be anyway I like it I like it and that's pretty much gone a couple of little bits which I won't bore you with but anyway I just thought I'd let you know how tough these little cookies are 
All right, I'll see you in a bit, okay. So hi guys, this is gonna be my penultimate check-in with you. I'm on my way home now, and basically I've been left with lip liner. That's pretty much the only thing that stood the test of time following an hour long walk with the doggies um, in the wet and the rain and yeah it's pretty grim but it still looked pretty good after that i am going to tell you that we were out for about an hour and i used the bathroom and it looked good and i was actually getting used to the sort of brighter tone deeper tone of lipstick rather than the sort of nudey glossy look i go for so i was enjoying how it worked out then i had some soup for lunch a couple of cups of tea and a yogurt and talked for about two hours and it's kind of all gone i'm left with just lip liner basically so yeah but i liked the way it's held up it's like three o'clock in the afternoon so that's five hours on from my last check-in so with all of that going on in that time i think it's done pretty good it kind of the lipstick had to come off didn't it really but the lip liner is still there so anyway i'll see you when i get home for the last check-in hi guys so this is the final check-in and i can honestly say really do like this product i'm glad i went for this color if i was forced to buy another color i would go with the the nudie brown shade the go-to shade not so much the dark shade because i just wouldn't reach for it on a even a night out it would just be too bold i wouldn't reach for it this was as bold as it's gonna get for me because i do like the natural glossy look but all i've done since i've come home bearing in mind it's just after four o'clock now and i put this on at about quarter past nine this morning so that's about seven hours or something isn't it and it stayed on through an hour long wet and windy walk it came off probably eating my lunch really I don't think that I think it stayed there through my cups of tea certainly didn't transfer onto my cups that I was drinking from so it just lunch you know food is going to make it sort of disappear but subtly when I did a check-in when I left my friend's house the last check-in you could just still see some lip liner but it wasn't too stark from a bare lip to lip liner or even that had just muted down a bit and blended into the lips so it wasn't a bad look I've literally just put some lip balm on because I am used to applying lip balm throughout the day so although my lips didn't feel dry because of the product they just felt a bit dry because I'm not used to them feeling like with nothing on so that's the only reason I've reapplied this really so yeah on the whole I'm lucking a bit of Barry M mat me up so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it works out when I edit it all together I hope it sort of works and I actually put it out there for you to see because I've enjoyed doing it so yeah thanks a lot for watching give it a little old thumbs up if you can and you've enjoyed it click the subscribe button which if you expand the description box down below you'll find there somewhere and then you'll be around for my next video so thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time bye